One of, one of the biggest things I would say that students should take a look at when, in, ter in terms of getting the right fit for the school is looking at the other kids on campus and looking at the faculty, you know, seeing is that, is that group of students over there someone that you would enjoy hanging out with um, on a day-to-day -day basis? Do the faculty look like they can be easily approached? Do you like the curriculum that they offer? Um, and even taking a look at the campus itself. What, how are the facilities? Does it look like an environment that you would like to spend your time in? But for advice for a family that's coming for an interview, I would definitely say this is your opportunity to find out as much about the school as possible. So this is your time to ask questions. This is your time to um, think about everything that you want to know about the school and how it's going to be a good fit for you and whether or not we're going to be a good fit for you. I think uh, the best piece of advice I would give a family um, when they're preparing for a visit to a school is to really uh, research the school on the website, talk to anyone they know who uh, is affiliated with the school um, so that they can prepare themselves for questions. And for the student, I think it's important that they just relax and feel comfortable being themselves and to know that anyone interviewing them is only going to ask them questions related to who they are, what their interests are. They're just trying to get a feel for whether or not the student would be a good match at the school. I always say to kids, there's no right or wrong answer. It's not something you have to study for ahead of time. So if you figured out what school you want to look at and you've got a list and you're running through um, some of the pieces of each school that, that's important to you, um, the first thing that you want to do when you arrive is to, um, to, to know what, what it is that is important to you. You want to know, uh, you want to do some research online, uh, perhaps you want to uh, talk to an alum or a, fa a family that uh, has had some experience with the school and be uh, a really well-educated consumer. You want to know what questions to ask, you want to know what programs not only are important to you, but what programs are important to that school. If you're really interested in drama and you notice that they have a drama program, you want to know if they're really committed to that program. You want to know if their resources are, are committed to it or if they're just doing it because they think they're supposed to do a drama program. Um, you want to know what good questions to ask as, as far as is those other things, those signature programs that are, um, that are a little bit outside um, the traditional educational realm. Are these are experiential programs? Um, are there programs off campus? Um, are there, uh, uh, is, what, what are you doing in the classroom technology wise? What, what's really important to you and how does that align with, with what's important to them? Well, preparing for a visit on campus, comfortable shoes, key, especially in the Northeast. Um, and be honest, be, um, really think before you come, really think about what's important to you so you can ask those questions. Um, and talk to students. Talk to the people you'll be, that'll be in the community with you. So then, so one piece of advice I'd give to families relax and enjoy the whole process. It's a really special time in your child's life and you want to enjoy getting to know more about your child, what piques his or her interests and passions, and how that fits with the different schools that you're visiting. 